Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another junior high take and make craft program. And this week we're upcycling used CDs again. Here's just a sample of what you can make. I decorated all with the little gemstone stickers and of course the tea light to go on top. So I'm just gonna turn it off and set it aside so I can show you how we are, or how you can possibly do this. The first thing, and it's only if you want to, you do have a row of these clear, so it's like this. Looks like this. I'm going to show you for the video a blue one so it stands out a little bit more for you. You might have to trim it a little bit, so take your tea light, and again, you don't have to do this. You can choose to do something like this, put little dots around it, or you can use that. You don't even have to decorate it whatsoever. So I'm just gonna peel this off. You might have to trim it a little bit. And then simply just line it up in the middle and it should go all the way around your tea light. There you go. And then you can just set your tea light aside. Now in your package, you also have some Mandela patterns, easy patterns. There's a group of them and some tissue paper. Again, this is just one option. I gave you two CDs so you can play around and see what you would like to do. You also have some various stickers in your package. Let's see, this one is one of the Mandela shapes, that triangular one that I used uh, to decorate. So we'll put that one aside. And it's really easy. You can take a pencil or a pen. Just put your CD, and this is only if you're going to use a Mandela pattern, you can just decide to do whatever you want with it. And I'll show you a couple others. Like the first one I made, it was not one of the Mandela patterns whatsoever. I just started doing a pattern with CDs. So put your tracing paper down. And you want to make sure you can feel that CD. So you can see right there, it would be off. So just make sure you can line it up. And once you feel that it's centered, I just make a rim, it's still not there. So I'm just gonna pull it over a little bit more. And just you can kind of feel with your fingers where the rim of your CD is. So then you're just gonna trace, and you don't even have to trace everything. It's all right if you go off the lines a little bit because it's just a little guide. And it's very easy to get the tracing paper marks off your CD once you're finished. I'll just show you. Just take a Kleenex and wipe those lines away. You also have glitter in your package if you want to use glitter. Again, it's completely up to you. Let's finish tracing here. And like I said, the first CD I showed you, that was just complete gemstones and I like doing patterns, so, but I didn't use a Mandela pattern whatsoever. Oops, went off a little bit, but that's all right, because like I said, it's just kind of a simple guideline. You pull that off, I set aside, and I don't know, I think you can see the marks of it. So I did this one as well. This one was easier. Here's another one that I did. Again, this is just pattern with the gemstones. They're self-adhesive, so you don't need glue. This one, I did start the Mandela so you can show. I just wanted to do this so I can show you how easy it is to wipe off. Now, if you wanted to start putting things on, these are in strips, so it's really easy just to peel off. And then you can just lace a couple down. Now you can tear these, you don't have to use scissors because your scissors will get gummy with the stickiness of it. Again, just tear it off and there you go. And Oh, let's see. This is the center of this package of stickers. How this has a very um, pretty center, if you'd like to use that. And it's okay. Your tea light will sit on it. 
You could even use these for coasters once you're done. All of these supplies were bought from the Dollar Tree, the dollar store. So you can get two for a dollar. You can get these stickers. Of course, these are upside gold CDs. And you'll probably be able to find those in um, some thrift stores if you'd like to. Or as somebody, don't go taking anybody's without asking their permission, of course. Just gonna put a couple more on this just to show you. Pull that one off. Now, put that aside. And I'll just put some blue ones up here again, just to show you how it can, how easy it is if you want to use stickers. Again, you can use glitter. So I'm gonna put that and there. There you go. And again, I just pulled it apart so you don't have to use the scissors. Now, let me show you how easy it is to wipe off this tracing paper mark right here. You just take a Kleenex and it wipes right off. So you can clean up your CD afterwards if you want to. You don't have to, if you don't want to use all of the markings. That's what I did with this one. I started cleaning it up as I went along so it didn't take so long to do at the end. Once you're finished, I'm just going to put this one here. Light up. And there you have another one. Like I said, you could make these, you can give them away, you can have a little grouping. So, looks nice when you group them together. You could even, if you wanted to, put these on your wall just like this. Decorate some CDs and put them on your wall like we did with the mirrored CD. Well, that's it. The instructions are in your package. I hope you have fun making these. And um, if you want more supplies, Dollar Tree, it's great. They have tons of stickers and gemstones and tea lights. And next week is our final uh, craft, series, craft video for this series. And we will be making a leaf uh, glass jar or glass jar decorated with leaves. <laughs> and that'll be nice to put on your dinner table. And until then, take care. And we'll take a two-week break after that, and then we'll be back for some more crafts. So thanks for joining me, and I hope you're having fun making these crafts. Please send me photos. I love seeing what you're doing, and you can send those uh, pictures to WROE at allsiplibrary.info. Until then, uh, take care, and um, we'll be back next week. Bye-bye.